Installing Robotware in Robot Studio. As of Robot Studio version 6.08 and newer, Robot Studio no longer includes the various versions of Robotware automatically installed. In versions prior to version 6.08, so say version 6.7 and earlier, when you installed Robot Studio 6.7, Robotware 6.7 was automatically installed with it. As of 6.08 and newer, so 6.08, 2019, and so on, the Robotware is no longer bundled with the software. Instead, you get the option to install it as needed. Let's go through how to do this. When you come into Robot Studio, you need to go up to add-ins and if you take a look down the left hand side of the screen here you'll see a variety of different versions of robotware these are all the versions of robotware that i have installed on my machine right now i also have a add-in and i'll talk about how to install an add-in here in a minute as well when it comes down to selecting robotware there's a couple things that you might want to take a look at the very first thing that you want to look at is what version of robotware does the actual robot that you work with in your factory or in your installation actually run. So in our facility, we run robotware 6.10.2. So if I take a look down the side here, I have 6.10, but I don't have subversion point two installed. So we're going to go through how to install that now. To do this, I take a look and I look through this list of robot apps and find the robotware for IRC5 because we're using an IRC5 controller. And in order to install the software, it's as simple as going over to the right hand side here, pulling down the drop down and selecting the relevant version for whatever version of robotware you need. So I'm going to grab 6.10.02 and I'm going to click the add button. You accept or read through and accept the terms from ABB. And then down on the left hand side of the screen here, you'll see this downloading package and it will tell you what the percentage is. You'll see a progress bar on the right hand, lower right hand side. And once this is done, it will actually install that version of robotware onto Robot Studio and you can then now create a controller using that version of Robotware. For those that don't know, Robotware is essentially the operating system that your real world controller runs and uses to execute the code that you build within Robot Studio or on the robot itself. This is why it's important to have the same version of Robotware in your instance of Robot Studio as the one that you're going to use with the real world controller. In addition to Robotware, you also have the ability that you can install add ins. So in this Robot Apps add in section, we can see things like, for example, I have Smart Gripper installed. If I scroll down through the list here, You can see all the various different types of add-ins that exist. There's a lot of different add-ins that exist that have been created for Robot Studio. Go ahead and install the ones that fit for what you need. In some cases, these are things like mounts, uh, positions, work cells, etc. Once you have your add ons installed, if you ever need to remove one, so for example, I'm going to be removing 6.0801 because I know that one actually had a couple of little hiccups with the robots that we run in our lab so I don't need it anymore we've upgraded past that so now to remove it 
you can always go down the left hand side here and right click on a particular package and say uninstall package. Say yes to proceed and you'll get this message down at the bottom showing you that the robotware is uninstalling. That's it for adding and removing add-ins and installing and removing robotware for Robot Studio. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.